President Obama's goal is to solidify the U.S.-China relationship. Topping the White House agenda for discussion, the global economy and trade, climate change, and regional and global security issues, including terrorism, Iran, and North Korea. And what about human rights? It seemed to be a priority for Ronald Reagan, George W. Bush, and even Jimmy Carter. Just before she visited China earlier this year, Secretary of State Clinton said human rights would not be a top priority of the Obama administration. As for religious freedom, the United States still lists China as a country of particular concern. China Aid Association President Bob Fu gives one reason why. The government wants to exercise a total control of the church and to uh, order the church uh, not to uh, uh, exercise their faith, especially to practice uh, their faith by sharing the gospel wherever and uh, they are. When the State Department released its annual Religious Freedom Survey last month, Assistant Secretary of State Michael Posner said religious freedom will be part of the U.S.-China dialogue for a long time to come. He expressed concern for the 50 to 90 million Christians who worship in China's unregistered churches. What we're trying to do is encourage the Chinese government to recognize and allow people of faith of various faiths to practice. That's also part of the dialogue as far as I'm concerned. So it may be a matter of how much emphasis. The president may raise human rights and religious freedom issues privately, but perhaps not publicly. And unlike his predecessor, Obama is not planning to attend a church during his China visit. Gary Lane, CBN News.